welcome back so it's spooky season and we're gonna be doing a Halloween look today so we're gonna be doing this side of our face is the glam side simply because it's my favorite side of my face and then this side will be our skull side so we're gonna be half glam half skull today it's super fun it would be great for Halloween so to start this out I'm gonna start with my glam side I'm gonna use this L'Oreal brow stylist brow pencil I really love this brow pencil I use it all the time and so I'm just going to lightly sketch underneath my brows a little line and then start kind of flicking it up into the brow, just defining the shape, brushing it out. Then I'll move to the top, do my little line across the top, and just fill in your brows like normal. Do whatever kind of glam brow you like for your glam side. So then I'm going to get my e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer and this little flat definer brush which is actually from e.l.f. also. And I'm just going to put a little bit of concealer on the back of my hand and I'm going to use that to carve out my brows. I want some nice clean sharp brows for my glam side. So I'm just going to use that brush and that concealer to clean them up and carve them out. Then I'm just going to pick up a bigger brush and whatever concealer was left over on my hand and put that all over my eyelid area to get ready for eyeshadow just to conceal any you know veins or discoloration that you might have so that way you have a nice clean canvas. Then I'm going to use the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. This is a perfect palette for this look. It's like so perfect for your glam side and for your skull side. So I'm just going to start with this top shade right here. It's like a banana shade. And I'm just going to use that to set that eyeshadow primer concealer that we did just so that it doesn't crease and the eyeshadows will go on really smooth. Then I'm going to pick up this peachy shade that's on the other side of the palette and I am going to use that to initially start my eyeshadow. So this is going to be like my first transition shade. So I'm putting it um, in the crease and above. So I'm keeping it pretty high because I want, obviously you guys know, know the drill, we want it to fade nicely. So I start with a light transition shade first. Then I'll pick up this a little bit of a darker brown. It's still a very light brown, but it's just a, a pinch darker than the first shade. You know how it goes. We build it up. And I'm just picking up a little bit of a smaller brush, and I'm going to start um, putting that more in the crease. So first I just swipe it directly in the crease and then start blending it up once the product is leaving my brush. Then I'm going to go in with this reddish brown kind of maroony color. It's just, I don't know, it's hard to describe, but it's a really great color. And I'm going to use that same small blender and I'm going to put that right over top of that first brown that we put down right in the crease. Then I'm going to use this really chocolatey brown and I'm going to pick up a smaller blending brush and I'm going to put this, I mean, directly in the crease. Like I really wanted to kind of hollow this crease out. So I just really work on packing that color in the crease and then start going back and forth. And then I'll even pick up a bigger brush and start blending it out because I was having a little trouble blending out this dark shade. So I picked up a clean brush and started blending over that and it wasn't to my liking so I picked up a little bit more of that red and started blending over it. So if you ever have that problem just keep blending, maybe put on another shade over it to help it blend and that worked out perfect for me so then I was really liking it. Then I'm going to pick up the concealer again and that little tiny brush that you see right there is what I'm going to use to carve out my lid so I just put a little concealer on the back of my hand again and then um, carve out your eyelid so this does take a little bit of practice and it's kind of hard if you have you know weird hooded lids like I do but it just takes practice to learn what looks good on your eye so it's just one of those things you have to work on but I'm just picking up a little bit as a, at a time as you can see I work kind of slow and just really focus on making that line up in the crease really nice and smooth so just carve out your lid y'all and then we'll move on
Then I'm going to use the original Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and use this second shade that's in the palette. And this is the only other eyeshadow I'm going to use besides the Kat Von D simply because I wanted the lid to be a little bit shimmery and the Kat Von D one is like all mattes. So I just wanted the, to have a little bit of sheen um, and then I'll just pack that over where we put the concealer and then take a, that tiny little blending brush and I'll blend over those edges. And then this is the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner and I'm going to use that with a little angle brush and I'm going to do a wing. We're going to do a pretty fierce wing today. We're not doing no baby wings. We're going to do a pretty good wing. So I just line my eye right at my lash line all the way across and then I'll come out to the end and create my little wing. Then I'm just going to put on some mascara. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. It's one of my favorite drugstore mascaras. It's so, so good. So I'm just going to give my lashes a good coat of that just so they're nice and black. And then we will pop on some false lashes. These are the Ardell Demi Wispies. They're like my favorite because they're like perfect for my eye because I kind of have a small eye. So I think they fit perfect for my eye shape. Okay, so for foundation, I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation. Mine is in the shade F10, and I just love this foundation. It has this giant doe foot applicator, so you can just dot it all over your face and then blend it out, and it's like really full coverage. It's so great. You can build it up, or you can wear it really natural if you do less, but it's such a good foundation. This is the Morphe M439 Foundation Brush. So just slap on some foundation, and we can move on. So then I'm going to go back in with the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer, which is also very full coverage as well. So this is a good little combination with the foundation and the concealer. So I'm just going to put this in all the normal areas, but only on the glam side and then blend it out in like a triangle shape underneath my eyes to really conceal and get that really full glam look today. Then I decided to add just a little bit more right on my cheek just to really get that you know highlighted effect going on under the eyes I had to remember like hey girl we're going full glam don't be too light-handed here so you can really see that that really does a lot right there so then we're gonna use the Maybelline fit me translucent powder in the shade fair 05 so these kinda have a little bit of a tint to them and this one is super brightening it's amazing so I just take my sponge and I dip it in there and then I'm just gonna pack it all on we're gonna do a little bit of baking today so just put that uh, powder on top of your concealer and then let it sit for a few minutes. Then I'm going to use the Benefit Hula Bronzer to really carve out these cheekbones today. So I just took kind of a small dome brush and I'm going to carve out these cheeks and really sculpt the face. So just put that all on your normal places, your cheeks, your you know jawline, your forehead. You know the drill, y'all. Then I'm just going to dust off all that powder that was baking under our eyes. And you can see how bright and intense and really sculpted the face looks. So then I'll just take my bronzer brush and just go right on that line where the powder and the bronzer kind of meet just to make sure they, you know, blend nicely. Then I'm going to take this Phase Zero blush right here. It's a really just pretty peachy pink and it's got a little bit of a shimmer to it so I'm going to put that all on the apples of my cheeks and just you know sweeping it upward I kind of like to have like a high blush because it kind of lifts the cheek area then I'm going to use another one of my faves this is the hourglass ambient lighting powder in the shade luminous light it is so good you guys so this is a very kind of subtle angelic type of highlight and I'm just going to use that same brush and put this on the apples and then just sweeping it up. I mean, look at it. Look at that. It's so good. It's so subtle. I swear it'd be perfect for everyone. Then I'm going to go in with this IBY highlight and this is a little bit of a brighter highlight. So we're just going to target this in a very specific area right there on the highest part of the cheekbone. So, you know, don't use much because this stuff is like no joke. But I just wanted to, you know, do a little spotlight right there at the very top of the cheekbone. So we're going to finish the lower lash line. We're going to go back in with that light brown shade on like a smudger brush. It's a very short, dense brush. So I like to just pack it on and really put it down there with that brush. And then we'll blend it out with the more fluffy brush as always. 
Then I use this Morphe lip or eyeliner pencil. I think it's for everything pencil. And it's in the shade Bar. This is such a cool liner because it's kind of a brown, but it has like this red tint to it. So it really brings attention to any eye color, green, brown, everything. So then I'll go back in with that reddish color on that blending brush. And I'll just, you know, smoke it out a little bit more down there on that lower lash line. Then I'll just put on some mascara on my lower lashes. This is the Maybelline Falsies Push Up Angel, my favorite lower lash mascara. Then we'll just go back in with that um, shade that we used all over the lid from the Jaclyn Hill palette, just to highlight the inner corners of the eye and underneath my brow. And wow, talk about the power of makeup. Even without the red lip on you, it's like, wow, the power of makeup, you guys, whoa. So this is the glam side. I'm not doing the lip yet because I wanted to get the you know other side done first. So I'm just gonna pick up a light brown um, pencil and I'm just gonna start kind of sketching and mapping out where I want the skull to be on my face. So this is mainly like the dark areas is what I'm sketching out. So I'm also looking at a few reference pictures and taking you know like this part of this one and I like this part of this one so I'm just kind of making it my own but you know it's just a skull so just look at some pictures while you're doing this and just sketch out where you want the darkness to be so then I'm gonna be using these two face paints pretty much what you need is black and white black and white anything you can use anything you have that's black and white um, I did use a little bit of the gel liner also because it's super black and intense. So just anything black and white and you can create this, this look. So you can even do it with like eyeshadow or anything you have. So I'm just going to start filling in what I sketched out and I did kind of leave it like not, f I didn't want it to be fully like dark around my eyes so I just kind of like feathered it. You know, the outsides were more dark, and then as it goes in, it's a little bit more gradual, so I could put a little bit of, you know, highlights and stuff like that. So I didn't fully fill my eye in, so I just kind of started filling in everywhere that I wanted to be dark. So when you're working with liquids, you definitely want to set them with powder, so I just took the black eyeshadow from that same Kat Von D palette, and I just started kind of packing it over, sweeping it around just so that it doesn't crease and you know go anywhere you want it to kind of stay put so I'm just gonna start blending over the black that I put down so then I'm just moving on to other parts I'm doing the line out the side of the mouth right there the little cheekbone area and see how I even I didn't go on the line that I created because it's really it's like art you know it's like you're painting a canvas just go with the flow get in the zone put some music on and just start playing you know what I mean so I'm just outlining all the dark areas and then I'll start shading and moving on to the white and doing the whole deal so I'll just let you watch because it's just kind of self-explanatory Also, I didn't want the white to be like a stark straight line down my face. I kind of just wanted it to blend from the glam side to the skull side. So I was doing like a really light wash. I didn't want it to be too like bright because I knew I was going to put like white eyeshadow over it to set it. So I'm just doing like a light wash because I didn't want it to be a straight perfect line down the center of my face. So just keep that in mind, you know, whatever you want it to be. If you want it to be a nice straight line, then you can do that. Or if you want it to kind of fade over, then you can do it like that. So you have options. Again, just make sure that you set any of your cream products with powder so I just took the white eyeshadow and I'm just sweeping that over just to set it so that when I go in and start shading it'll like you know smooth out really nice
and this is the part where my camera card was full and wasn't recording so I am so sorry but all I did was draw the teeth so I just did straight lines going down evenly and then I just kind of fanned out the tip of them on the top and the bottom and then I'm just putting the um, white right there in the middle of the lines to make the teeth so I'm sorry it cut out on that part I'm so sorry I know but um, you know it's just straight lines and then I just kind of fanned out the the ends of them. That's all I did while you were gone. My bad. So then once you put the teeth in the middle of the lines, you want to go back and just shade with some black all around them to make them really look rounded and you know like teeth So then I started taking some of that dark brown that was in the eyeshadow palette and just started doing a little bit of shading right outside the black line just to give a little bit more depth and dimension. So I did that all over, all around the black and just started blending it out just to make it look, you know, more sunken in and more lifelike. Don't forget your little brow, you know, um, angry brow thing right there. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying, but, you know, we want to be angry and mad because we're a skull. So then I took this white eyeliner pencil and I just used that to make the highlights because I really wanted them to stand out and the white eyeshadow just wasn't enough. So um, since we did the shadowing and the contouring, we want to do the highlighting also. That really helps bring it to life. So I would just kind of draw it on, smudge it out, and just play with it, go with it, and put those all around where you did the, the shadowing. Just wherever you think looks looks right, you know? So this right here really makes it really come to life. Just do small little shadows on the outside of that highlight that you put and it really 
brings the face to life. I mean, I was using like, I think the gray out of the palette. Like I said, that palette, that eyeshadow palette is like so perfect for a skull look because it has all the perfect colors. So just play with it. Use some grays and browns and blacks and add little shadows and little creases all over the face and it really does bring it to life. That way it doesn't look like a flat drawing on your face. It really looks like it's coming, you know, off your face or very realistic or you know what I'm saying. So then I decided to hop back over to the glam side and put on the red lip since I was getting close to the end. So I just used this Illamasqua red lip liner. Any red lip liner will work and any red lipstick or liquid lipstick will do. So just line your lips like normal. I overlined just a little bit to give the full glam effect. And um, this lip liner is a little bit of more pinky than the red right here. This is the Ciate Liquid Velvet, but you can't even tell. So it turned out great. This liquid velvet, um, liquid lipstick is really great from Ciate. I've like literally almost used that whole entire little thing. You see me right there. Keep like going back in because I'm almost out because it's super, it's super great. It feels so comfortable on the lips, but it doesn't go anywhere. So it's awesome. So then I grabbed this NYX Highlight and Contour Palette because, I mean, our skull needs to be highlighted. So I used this very white highlight shade and I'm highlighting the skull side. I know, it's crazy. But it really does like pop and show against that white, you know, face paint stuff. So I put it like everywhere on the apples of my cheeks, on my cheekbones, you know, all up on my forehead, my chin, and even on the tip of my nose just to, you know, she needs to be glam too, even though she's a skull. So. That's what we're doing. So then I thought it might be cool to do like a few cracks and for them, a few of them to kind of fade over to the glam side. So I just took that gel liner and like a really tiny little brush and I'm just creating a few little cracks and they're uneven. They're not all perfectly you know, the same width or whatever, they kind of fade out at the tip to get, you know, skinnier. So just do a few of those. You don't want to do too many because you don't want to overdo it, but a few looks really cool, I think. And I like how that they kind of, a few of them come over onto the glam perfect side. So just add a few cracks if you like the way that looks. Then I had to add a lash to the skull side. It just felt weird without it, and I think that it really makes the skull side kind of glamorous at the same time. And if you're, you know, in person wearing this to a party, you don't want to be wearing one lash. So just pop on your other lash. Trust me, it looks so much better with it. And then this look is complete. I hope that you guys like it. Um, it's, you know, it's kind of easy. There are more easier skulls to do, but this one was a little bit more in depth, but I still think that it turned out pretty cool. I'm really happy with it. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to my channel and join the York fam. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, y'all.